For over 10 years now, I've been working on a series of drawings set in an imaginary place known as Yonder. I've learned all that I know about this world from Jiggs and his companion, Floyd. At first, Jiggs told me about discovering the Yonder Lights and having to build a really tall ladder. And it wasn't easy. But he finally got up there and he waited and he got one. Some people call them the Yonder Lights. Some people call them geists or the spirit of an idea. Jigs called them magical mystery beards and they took them on some pretty wild adventures. He's encountered all kinds of folks along the way who have helped him. He eventually planted his beards in the ground and he created the Geistwood trees. I put most of his adventures in this book and we made a little field guide since there's so much to know as well. We've tried to catalog the beards, the branches that come from the trees, the sap from the trees, the twigs. He's shared with me all kinds of souvenirs from yonder over the years. His exploits have helped me understand my own experiences as an artist, trying to find inspiration, trying to create something truly unique, and trying to share it with others. Like Jigs, I've been inspired by mysterious forces, and I've needed the help of others along the way. My recent body of work uses the setting of old fields, those spaces between places once maintained and later abandoned where a natural succession is occurring, and where we can take a breath and reflect on where to go from here in these uncertain times. I'm an artist currently residing in the neighboring Durham region, but I have family roots in the Northumberland County, going back five generations. The seeds of inspiration for Yonder were first planted in North Lumberland, as I used to call it when I visited my family when I was a kid. I'm excited to be doing an artist residency in Port Hope, where I'll be taking a different approach to some new old field drawings. As part of my artist residency in Port Hope, I'll also be speaking with people from all over Northumberland about their own experiences here. I hope our paths cross. You can find me at the little station on Lent Lane in downtown Port Hope, or perhaps on Saturday, August 15th or August 22nd, for an exquisite field collaborative community drawing. We're going to be doing the longest drawing ever this year. I would also like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude for being able to work on the traditional territory of the Anishinaabek, Huron-Wendat, Haudenosaunee, Ojibwe, and Chippewa peoples. I would also like to thank the Ontario Arts Council, the Canada Council, and Critical Mass for the support.